Okay, let's take a look at how we can add vectors. So let's think of an example uh, where we might want to add some vectors together. Um, let's say uh, we're launching a rocket. Okay, and here's my pathetic attempt at drawing a rocket. Right, and okay, here's our rocket, some gas coming out the back. So let's think first of all about the forces acting on this rocket, and we're going to add those forces together as examples of adding vectors. So, first of all, here's our rocket, there's the center of gravity, and I'm quickly going to just sketch out uh, the, some of the forces acting here. I'm going to neglect air resistance for simplicity, and let's say this vector here represents the thrust of the rocket, I'll call it T. And then there's another vector in this direction due to gravity, W equals mg, and I've neglect, I'll neglect other forces like air resistance etc. So let's just keep it simple, we've got two forces there. And if I want to know what the net force is acting on that rocket, I have to add those two vectors together. And the way I do that is I use what we call the head to tail method. I have to draw these out, well this is one way that I can do it, I draw these out as a scale diagram so what I would need is a protractor and a ruler and a pen and uh, I haven't got my protractor here so I'm just going to sketch it out for you and in your first question I want you to do it probably with your protractor so what you would need is let's say we take the horizontal as a reference then we'll need to know the angle uh, between the horizontal and this and of course this this vector here, the weight will be acting straight down towards the center of the earth so that angle there's 90 so what I would do then you know if I know that this if I had my ruler here and I drew a little horizontal line and then I would start my vector T and I'd have to draw my vector to scale so let's say that my scale was something like one centimeter equals a thousand newtons and let's say the question in this case was telling me that uh, that thrust was 3,000 newtons, let's say, so it'd have to be 3 centimeters long, and I'd have my ruler, of course, and be drawing that out, and so that vector is vector T, right, and it's at that correct angle, whatever that angle is there that I'd measured, I use my protractor to make sure that that vector was at that angle. Now, what we do next to add this vector W to T, is we use this head to tail method where this is the head and this is the tail of T and we put the tail of W on the head of T so we there's one vector and the next vector starts here and goes from there so and let's say we were told that this weight was um, I don't know just guessing so let's say it was 2000 newtons right so we'd start our vector here representing the direction straight down and let's say that that vector had the exact the right length and the correct direction downwards to represent W. Now the resultant of those two vectors is a vector that starts where I started at the start of T or the tail of T and goes to the head of W so it's from where I started to where I finished and so what I do then with my ruler I draw in a vector very carefully with a ruler of course, not like me <laughs> that uh, goes from start to finish and that is T plus W so that is the that vector, so that is the resultant and if I have my protractor and I find an angle there and measure the length I then know all about this vector, I know its magnitude from its length using the scale and its direction using my protractor. So now what I've done is worked out this is the net force on this rocket if these are the only two forces acting on it. So now go and try your first question. You've got an example where you're told all the details that you need, use your protractor and your ruler and let me know if you have any problems.